This final activity uh, really goes back to uh, one of the first activities of this class where we talked about how we can use the modular nature of the Bode plots in order to plot each individual term separately and then add together their magnitudes and add together their phases in order to produce the Bode plots of the overall transfer function. And it's a very powerful visual tool. So what I recommend is that you take some time to try to sketch out as best as you can from what we uh, presented earlier, the individual Bode plots, just kind of kind of vaguely sketch those out, each one individually. So you're gonna take each term. So you're gonna take this term, this, this term, these are complex pairs, this term and this term, plot them separately, all on the same magnitude plot and all on the same phase plot. And then what you're gonna do is just add them all together. So take a few moments and sketch them individually on the same plot and then advance to the next slide. And then you'll get a chance to take a look at each one individually. And then I'll show you those. And then you can try to synthesize um, the combined uh, effect of adding all of those together. So go ahead and pause and draw each one individually and then advance to the next step. So you can double check that step. So here I've gone ahead and used MATLAB's Bode command in order to plot each one of these. So the real important thing is that I'd like you to have a basic sketch. You should have this kind of vaguely in there. You know that it goes down at 40 dB per decade and um, you know where that intersection happens. Um, once you calculate out what the damping and the, and the omega zero factors are for these two things, then that helps you understand where these transition points are that you can then also draw in. Um, and then essentially you know that this one is a zero and this one is, is, a, is a pole. And so with this one, with the pole, you're gonna get a phase delay. And so that corresponds to this, this uh, purple one with uh, with the zero, you know you're gonna get a phase advance and that comes from this. And, uh, and then likewise, you can also get the, the magnitude plots. We didn't really talk about a constant, but again, if you're gonna talk about the constant, you're really just gonna evaluate the magnitude of that. And then the phase of that, the phase of that's always, um, uh, essentially the phase, you just calculate the magnitude and phase of that um, that constant value. So now that we have each one of these plots individually, now the challenge is, is to just kind of sum and combine them together into something um, that you imagine vaguely looks like the overall Bode plot. And the key here to keep in mind is look at low values of omega, look at high values of omega, and then kind of observe where these peaks happen and try to interpolate between them. The key thing here is, is that you've got slopes here of zero, slopes of zero, slopes here of 40 dB per decade. Here you have a slope of 20, uh, 40 dB per decade, a slope of 40 dB per decade, and another slope of 40 dB per decade. And so these are gonna end up canceling each other out. And so I want you to think through how that works and, and take a look at that. So again, I used the MATLAB uh, built-in command to get this exactly right, but the, the whole idea here is that I'd like you to observe that you should be able to get this slope correct, which is the 40 dB per decade contributed by this, the, the double pole at zero. You should also get another 40 dB per decade with the idea that this one and this one essentially cancel each other out. Um, leaving just a, a remaining 40 dB per decade. And then in between, you're gonna have this effect where you're at least gonna get a spike and another spike that correspond to those two magnitude um, of the zero, the complex zero and the complex pole. So again, you don't have to get exactly this, but the idea is to have some spikes here and to have these two um, correct. And then in the phase, you can see that you get this kind of phase advance for a little while up to, up to um, up to 180, and then you get a phase delay of, of minus 180. And so, but then you also have this overall phase of minus 180. So that's why you essentially stay at minus 180. You get a, a, temporarily this extra boost from this uh, the pair of zeros, and then that gets taken away by the pair of poles, complex poles.
So again, just getting the kind of limiting behaviors at small and large and some interesting intermediate values of omega is what we're interested in being able to do by hand. Here's another example uh, where I have sketched out. It's worth kind of covering this up and, and trying to do the same activity that we did before on this one, where we sketch out um, each individual contribution um, and then look how it happens overall. And so what you're going to notice is that these breakpoints end up becoming kind of crucial in, in quantifying what the system is, uh, is doing. And so where these, where these kind of go from zero slope to 20 dB per decade is, uh, is important in understanding kind of what the in-between behavior looks like. And that's even more true in the phase diagram. This one maybe is a little bit difficult to, to eyeball uh, in, but it should be able to, um, you should be able to connect kind of these two plots and understand how um, the overall Bode plot is the, is the sum of these individual magnitude and individual phase plots. So you get some more practice on this in the homework.